All right, welcome back everybody to Disney Week. We are um, doing uh, Aladdin today. So you guys already made, well maybe, made your magic carpet uh, snacks. Today we're gonna make Genie Slime. Now I know some parents get a little nervous about slime, but we made it really easy for you. We did all the um, parts that are kind of a lot of work and everything is ready for you and packed up so you don't even have to do any measuring. We have, so you should need uh, glue, this big thing of glue, a uh, contact solution, that was what that liquid was. Um, you need a third a cup of water, so you're gonna put a third cup in there, and then, um, so that was, you're gonna need to provide the water and also some blue food coloring. And then we also have a little baggie and it says baking soda on there. There's um, a couple different things, so I just wanna make sure that you guys have it right um just double check in here yep okay uh yep so just that little baking so there's one that says borax but you don't want borax you want the one that says baking soda so we're gonna get started so come on in here so you can see a little bit better um but these the reason that we have the blue food coloring and the blue glitter is because it's genie slime so we want to make sure um that it kind of looks like a genie genie's blue um, you're also going to need, I need a clear bowl, but you want a, a bowl that's okay if you get some food coloring spilled on it. So not your mom's best bowls, um, just maybe a bowl like that, but she doesn't care if it gets some blue in it. So what you're going to start is you're going to start with is the glue. So you're gonna, just going to take the lid off, okay, and you're just going to pour that in. You're going to have to hold it for maybe a little while just to make sure it gets all out. And then you can just take maybe a little spoon or something to get it all out. Now remember, it's not frosting, it's glue. So don't lick your fingers, because that's sometimes tempting to do. Okay, make sure you get all that glue out. You're gonna need every drop of that glue. Okay, and this is about um, four ounces of glue. So if you wanna make this another time, um, that's what you need, about four ounces of glue. Okay, make sure you get all of it out. And do it right away so that it doesn't, um, you can't add it later. It'll be too late to add it later. So do your best. Get all that glue out. Just like that, okay? So now we got our glue. Next, you're going to add your water. So you should have that maybe all measured out. Like I said, it's a third of a cup. So I'm going to just uh, pour that in. Okay? And you kind of see, it kind of, it doesn't mix in instantly. So you're gonna have to mix it. And you just keep mixing. And like, I should tell you, um, don't make this, you know, somewhere like your mom's nice dining room table. You can make it outside or maybe with some newspaper underneath or something like that. So you're just gonna keep stirring this until the glue is kind of all broken up and it's kind of incorporated into the water. You don't want it to be like, chunky still. You want to make sure it's all mixed in. I'm guessing a lot of you have already made slime before, so you should know this. Okay, just make sure you mix it all up. Be careful that you don't spill it. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you have either an iPad or a computer or a phone that you're watching. Just be careful you don't spill on that kind of stuff. Okay, so I think mine's pretty good. If yours is still going, you can pause the video. But that's kind of what you want it to look like. It's kind of liquidy, okay? So then I'm going to add my blue food coloring. If your mom does not want you messing around with oh, blue food coloring, uh, Mr. Ryan, can I have you hand me a, a paper towel, please? Thank you. Oh, look at me. I'm going to just take this out of here. How about that? Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, that'd be something good to have on hand too is a paper towel or something. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my blue food coloring. If your mom doesn't want you doing this, to have her help you, okay? So I'm just gonna get just maybe a couple little drops. You don't want too much. Start with a couple, maybe three or four. I'm gonna start with three and you can always add more. I'd start with a two or three maybe to start and then if you need to add that fourth drop, you can. I spilled it so I got to clean here. And then I'm just gonna kind of mix that in. So it looks blue, it looks like that's a really cool blue, but it's not really 
genie blue, so I might need to add a little bit more. Oh, don't you fall. Okay. Add a little bit more, maybe two more drops to be safe. One, two, be another one. Three. Mix it in. Oh yeah, that's starting to look better already. That's perfect. Mix it in really good. Now, this is Mr. Chilson's least favorite part, the glitter. He doesn't like glitter at our house. So that's why we have it all bagged up for you. You just, so you just kind of open it up like that, get the glitter kind of on one side and then pour it in so it doesn't go all over. I don't want your guys' dads to be mad either. <laughs> so you're gonna sprinkle in your glitter and then you're gonna stir it up. Again, mix it really good. It's gonna be so cool, you guys. Get the sides so you get it all in there. Okay. All right, then we're gonna mix in the baking soda, which that's all ready for you too. And I think that's a teaspoon, I think. Let me just double check to be safe. Um, so that you can make a half a teaspoon, I'm sorry. Half a teaspoon of baking soda is what you're gonna need if you wanna make this another time. So I'm just gonna pour that in. Maybe you wanna start with just part of it to be safe. And like, so I just kept a little bit and then you can always add more to it too. This is gonna make it thicker. So I can already tell mine is not very thick, so I'm gonna add more to it. Gotta hold on to my spoon, it keeps falling. And you can see it's not really that messy. So your parents shouldn't freak out too much about this because it's pretty good. So I'm gonna mix, I'm just gonna put in the rest of my baking soda. I think that should be the perfect amount. Okay, I'm just gonna stir that in there. If you just don't think yours is thick enough, you can add some more baking soda to it. I'm guessing your parents probably have some. I'm thinking I might, we might need a little more baking soda. Okay, what do you think? I think we need a little bit more. Do you guys wanna hand me another thing of baking soda, please? Like I said, I thought we'd have enough in there, but you guys might need a little bit more. It's in that little sandwich bag up there in the box with all the extra supplies. Keep stirring it, see if you can just a little bit more to be safe. Like I said, you might, yours might be just enough, mine's not. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. Not a lot more, just a little. Let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, that's already helping a little bit. I'm gonna add, now I'm gonna add the contact solution. Okay, and I'm gonna just pour that in there. And that should kind of help. Now, this one says I need to knead it. I'm gonna stir it first. Oh yeah, here we go. Now it's working, it's turning itself right into slime. So you can see when it starts to pull up like that, I starting mine out with a spoon and making sure I can get all the edges. And then um, once I'm done with that, then I'm gonna start using my hands, okay? So it's gonna be sticky at first, but just keep stirring and kneading it so that it doesn't 
stick to this side here. So you can see it kind of comes off like that. It's gonna be really sticky at first. This is the part that the parents don't like. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of pick it up and keep stirring it until it's not so sticky. But just kneading means just kind of using your hands. Okay, and just keep stirring. If you just can't get that sticky out, um, you can add more contact solution. So I might even have to do that, but if you keep kneading it and kneading it, it should. Oh yeah, look at how awesome that is. You can always add some, a little bit more contact solution, but you don't want to dilute it either. So by eventually, once you start kneading it, it should come off your hands. Okay, so this is still needing some work. It's so awesome though, you guys. Keep going. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so cool. Okay. And I might need a little more contact solution, so we'll see. If I keep needing it, though, it should be okay. It's kind of working. Like I said, if you want to add a little bit more, that's fine. That's going to make it a little less sticky. I might have one of my helpers come grab some contact solution for me, please. It's over here. Just to be safe. Like I said, you don't want to add very much. Bailey, you want to pour just a little bit in there for me just to be safe. Just in here. Yeah, just a little bit. Let's see what happens. That's good. You don't want to put very much in there if you do because that will um, make it not slime like you want it to be. So anyways, I'm going to just probably, oh yeah, now it's really working, guys gonna come right off your hands and it is so cool and if you look it's blue it's just like the genie um, you know something that you could do like if you go on Amazon they have little genie gems or something or a little um, uh, lamp the genie's lamp or whatever his uh, a little charms you can add those to it if you want to um, That'd be kind of fun. Or you can just play with it just like this. So you can see now that I added just a little bit more contact solution, it's coming right off my hands. So if you don't have contact solution, you can go down to, you know, Lewis and pick up a little bit more or maybe even the dollar store something. But just adding that little bit more helped it come right off my hands. So you're going to have to just kind of keep playing with it until it comes. But do you notice that I don't have it all over the table? I'm doing it right inside the bowl so you're not making a huge mess. So when you're making this, be really careful that you're not making a mess all over the place or your mom or dad or whoever you live with is going to say, you're never making slime again. And we don't want that because slime is awesome. So I'm going to take a little more time to probably knead mine, but this is it. And when you're done, um, you can put it in a little container like this that has a lid or you could put it in just like a plastic bag and you can play with it again later. But that is it. It's really easy. Um, like I said, we have everything measured. The only thing you might need a little bit more of is baking soda. I don't even think I needed to add more baking soda to mine now that I've done it, but it comes off your hands pretty easily. That is it. This is Jeannie Slime. Um, send us your pictures of how yours looked, all right? Have fun. Bye, see you tomorrow.